so this is a cycle cart. Uh, I had a really good question, which is, what is the dimensions? And I thought I'd just cover that really quickly. Um, these look complicated, but they use really basic dimensions. And um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, you can kind of see how it's put together. Like, I, mine is basically a copy of Steve Vincent's, but uh, you know, he used pretty simple, straightforward <clears throat> whole and quarter units and half inch units for the most part. So, uh, first off, we've got the rail, right? Which is, there's two rails. There's this rail and then there's this rail. And, uh, mine, if you note, it's narrower at the front than it is at the rear. Um, which honestly, like when you're cutting this thing with a, a four inch grinder, like, like this thing, um, your accuracy, you know, you don't need to worry about the half a degree angle on either side that you need to cut. Like the, it's within the realm of, it's, I, mean, I don't have much skill, so you won't have any problem with it either. So this rail is 96 inches to here. And then I welded on an extension here, which gives me that cool curve that everyone's looking for. Um, it originally it ended right about there. And then I had to, uh, these, <clears throat> these springs are one and a quarter inch. So you need a piece of eighth inch, uh, plate on either side there. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. And I didn't have a budget to go buy a chunk of plate steel like I should have. Uh, so I'm still working on that, but anyways, uh, 96 inches from that end to this end. And then an additional inch gives you 97 inches. Um, my wheelbase is uh, from that to here is, uh, it should be 64. I think it's like 64 and a quarter. Um, so, so those are your two rails. And then if I can get this thing in, there we go. Uh, and then <clears throat> this front rail, this uh, cross piece uh, that I've kind of cut out fun style there. I thought it would be interesting. Uh, this sits directly above the axle here. So here's the axle, right? And then here's the cross piece and it sits directly underneath it. And the important thing to note is the distance from here to here, I think is 25 inches. Let's just measure it. Uh, these are all the critical dimensions. So uh, from there to there is uh, 24 and a half. Uh, if I go from, I can't do center to center. Yes, yeah, 24 and a half center to center. Uh, I think overall it's 25 inches. Uh, and then, yeah, that's one and, a, uh, what is that? One and a half, one and a quarter, one and a quarter. Yeah, one and a quarter. Um, so anyways, uh, the important thing is this cross piece is usually directly over uh, the front axle. And so my measurement at the front axle is uh, 17 and a half inches. My measurement at the very front here, I'm not gonna use the little spacer thing, is 16 and a half inches. I think I came up with, uh, if you were to draw a line down the center, right down the center of this thing, uh, it's a half a degree that way, or sorry, it's one degree that way, and it's one degree that way, <clears throat> which means that when you cut this thing, you need uh, one degree, which, like I was talking about earlier, like, it doesn't matter. Like, you're gonna, you're gluing it together with uh, MIG wire. There's plenty of gap filling capability there, uh, and you really can't cut to that kind of accuracy anyways. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, so 16 and a half up here. 16 and a half, and I think realistically it's supposed to be 17, but uh, I don't know if you can see here, but I had to weld all of this on to give myself that bottom piece. I don't think you've ever seen this view um, on both sides. And when I did that, it warped, it visibly warped in. I don't know if you can see that, but it goes, it, that's not curvature of the lens. It, it's actually, I can show you that. 
yeah, it, it visibly warps in quite a bit. You know, like here it is straight. It warps in. So uh, I put way too much heat into that and it warped like crazy. So be careful of that. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so, so it's supposed to be 17 inches. If it hadn't warped an entire half inch, uh, it would have been 17 inches. Uh, I guess it warped a quarter inch. Here it is 17 and a half. And then we go back. The next big measurement is going to be right here. Uh, at the seat, and the seat is 20 inches exactly, uh, which means your internal size is going to be 18 inches, which is, uh, I had one guy who's saying, look, why is this thing so narrow? Like, you're going to barely be able to fit in there. Like, an average chair is 18 inches wide. If your butt, like, you know, if you've been eating too many Big Macs uh, and your <laughs> butt doesn't fit in a chair, uh, you're going to have problems on the cycle cart. My butt's not that big yet, but uh, and then we have 20, uh, it should be 21 inches, but again, I put too much heat in, uh, in here. And then, uh, I think also when I was putting this thing together, so this really should have been, uh, 20 and a half, but it comes out to about 20 and a quarter. <clears throat> so those are the measurements for the cycle cart. Uh, and then, yeah, so let's see here from. The front of this crossbar to here is 26 inches. And then from this crossbar, this is the critical measurement no one talks about, to here is 58 inches. So I hope you like my pajama pants there. Uh, so 58 inches, and I forget what the exact measurement is here. Uh, I think it's 11 inches. Uh, it's 11 inches from the front of that bar to the front of my rail. And then I added another inch to give me 12. And that should make sense because if this spring is 25 inches, it should be, uh, should be 12 and a half inches from the center mark of uh, here. So that's 12 and a half inches to the front. And there's a little bit of angle, but that makes sense, I think. Um, so yeah, those are the general measurements. Uh, and then this is hard to measure because I've got a, a bar there, but um, yeah, hub to hub is, I think it's 38 inches, uh, 30, I think it's supposed to be 36 inches, but with, uh, yeah, with everything, it's like 36 and a half, um, Mark over at Renegade has corrected me on this at least once. And then um, bearing to bearing up here is, I think, 35 or 36. Um, yep, that's about it. Uh, this steering wheel is about as big as the steering wheel that I would want. Uh, and it is... Let's see. So, looks like 13 and a half inches. And then, uh, this rod is a standard size rod. It's, uh, what is that? 30, 34 inches, 35 inches from end to end. Uh, And sorry, this is not polished, but uh, this information is really hard to find, and I don't have time to do this later. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let's just plug this guy in real quick. And so, yeah, that is roughly where the wheel should go to give you an idea. Hold on. There we go. There's my hand on it. And, oh, yeah, uh, this, from this hoop to that hoop is, I don't know, uh, I think 64 inches is really, 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 really pushing it for a uh, short wheelbase and uh, cockpit size. So my car, like most cars, you want, you want the nose to be as long as possible. You want it to be really 
long, fairly tall, and more narrow than you would think. Uh, this hoop is too short. It's about eight and a half, eight and exactly eight and a half uh, by uh, 11 and a half, 11 inches. That really, I think, I talk about this in another video. That's too small. I think I've rebent this like three times. And uh, I'm just going to take this pile of cardboard and make a cycle cart body so I get the dimensions right. Um, but you want the nose to be more narrow and taller than you think it should be uh, to get the aesthetic look that you're looking for. A lot of people, they build this huge hoop up here, and it looks like a looks like a freaking uh, beer barrel or, you know, wine barrel or something. And uh, I think it's just like a classic mistake a lot of people make, or they're trying to copy the shape, but, you know, it's a caricature. caricature. It's not a skill model. Uh, because, and I say this over and over again, like, you can scale the wheelbase, you can scale the body this way, but when you scale it this way, you know, you start off with a two-person car, you scale it down to one, like, now it's a one-person car, that's fine. Um, but you can't scale, like, your legs are going to go from here to here, or from, you know, here to here. You can't scale your body and your arms down, so the cockpit has to be, I think, Denny, Dennis, Denny, he says it should be 32. I've got, you know, very center there. I've got, it looks like 27 inches, which is really pushing it. I think if you're, you know, not eating too many cheeseburgers, you'll be, you won't have any trouble fitting in and out of this thing, but uh, I still got the quick release on here. I haven't welded it up yet. That's it. Project for another day. But yeah, um, I think because you want everyone wants to get in the car and sit and drive it. So you want it to be big enough for everyone to get in there. So 27 is really, really tight uh, with the steering wheel. It comes down to about 24 inches. That's two feet. Uh, I just sat in my car and measured, you know, from my you know, my shoulder to the steering wheel. And I came up with 24 inches. So uh, my wife's shorter than me. Uh, I'm pretty average sized. But my wife thinks that I sit too close to the wheel. Uh, so this is probably gonna be a tight fit for a lot of people. But it's my cart. Uh, and I can build it how I want. So I have a little bit smaller uh, cockpit size than absolutely necessary. Because uh, I want to keep Every inch that you go this way, you get an additional, you know, two, three percent, four or five percent, really, longer hood, which gives you the aesthetic that you're looking for. So I think the next step here is uh, I'm going to leave these hoops in place just so I have something to mount the cardboard to. But I'm going to go a little bit higher on this and I'm going to go a little higher here. And I think when I redid this hoop... I don't know if I've posted this to YouTube yet, but I think when I re did this hoop, um, it's the correct height now. I think this and that hoop are the correct height. I think that one, I don't see it around here anywhere. So that's probably the old hoop. Uh, but yeah, uh, and then, yeah, uh, I bought this guy. You've probably seen the video for that uh, to solve all of my problems with bending. Um, so actually, yeah, I have, uh, I've got this guy over here it looks way better. This one I think is going to go right, going to go right here. So you can see how much bigger, or is it this one? Maybe it's there. So anyways, that's enough of a video. Uh, those are the general dimensions. 16 and a half. 17, 20, 21. Uh, and then from the center line, uh, going this way, they tilt in at about one, I forget exactly, it's like one or one and a half degrees on either side. Um, but again, uh, you don't really need to worry about that because if you're cutting this stuff like everyone else is with a, a four inch grinder, 
um, you just you're not going to have the dimensional accuracy to, of one percent <laughs> of 360 degrees. Uh, you just weld it in place. My welds are crappy, but uh, you know that's that weld is way bigger than a one degree gap. So that's all. That's a long video about measurements. Goodbye.